Hello everyone. Uh, so today I wanted to do a video um, to show how to mount the um, B Big Three Tech uh, BTT S fifty seven B version two uh, stepper driver uh, closed loop. So uh, why you want to use a closed loop driver? Um, it is used to avoid uh, layer shifting while you're printing. So basically you install this kind of drivers in the back of the motors. In this case I have a NEMA 23, but there are drivers for uh, NEMA 17 too. Uh, to, to the X and Y and Z um, axis. So for example when a motor skips steps or um, there is a problem with the printer uh, and there is a, a shifting in position of the, uh, the axis, the closed loop drivers will go back to the position, the position before uh, this problem happened. And it allows you to, um, to avoid layer shifting, which is usually what, what happens when you have this kind of problems and uh, possibly to save uh, a print uh, which is always good so I'm mounting this uh, stepper driver closed loop stepper driver on the Nemeth uh, 23 uh, what I wanted to um, tell you too that I purchased instead of uh, purchasing everything together as a bundle which is I think around uh, uh, 57 of $58 I purchased the motor separately I paid $16 then I noticed that when you buy the bundle with with the small screen for this this um, driver uh, the cost was uh, um, almost $38 uh, but if you buy it without the this screen the cost was only $16 for this so I, I went to check what kind of screen does it require this type of driver and uh, it's an OLED uh, uh, screen with seven, seven pins so basically I purchased this one separately I paid like four dollar with shipping and this 16 and this 16 so it's 32 plus 4 around 36, 37 dollar instead of 55 dollar with shipping so saved a lot of money. I'm not sure why just the addition of the small screen that is like two dollar plus shipping it jumps twenty bucks, but that's what happened. So the, the components here are pretty simple. You have a motor, number twenty three or number seventeen. Uh, of course there are drivers for each motor because you need to attach it in the back. So there is the interface with the with the board so you need a board that can that allows you to uh, put the stepper driver in the sockets in this case it has a it's basically this is a dummy one uh, cables there's a cable that goes from here from this uh, adapter to to the driver and then from the driver to the motor these are the two cables then the, you have the screw, the screws here, there you have four screws, a bunch of washers, they are plastic, and you have this one, it's a small uh, magnet that you need to insert inside here the motor. Okay, like this. Because behind here there's a chip that interface with the motor when it spins allows you to read the position of the shaft of the motor okay let's see if this works already okay and let's screw a little bit okay then we take other two washers Let's see if 
I'm able to do it. Okay. Let's screw it like that. Okay. Turn around. It's not a fun job. Let's say the best. Okay. Screw the other two. And last two washers. Let's hope everything goes good. Okay. So looks like this is the best way to do it. I tried once to put it all at uh, once and it was a mess. Okay. So basically you screw all all in. Just put it like this for now. And basically that's it. So basically you let me redo this. Uh, you get the OLED. In this case it's a 7 pin OLED. You put it here. Then cable this cable here uh, goes from this socket to this big socket and the white cable goes from uh, here to the driver adapter on the board the main board and that's it so this is how you mount it it's pretty straightforward just a pain to put the screws in with, with the two washer in you see you can tell that the chip is a bit off distance from the magnet this is on the uh, motor shaft so just check that and then you know how you calibrate and to to do all that kind of stuff uh, I will do another video uh, when I am mounting this to the 3D printer but there are already some um, very good tutorial online so you can search for that if you are in a rush and that's it uh, so remember I put some links uh, for all this stuff uh, in the description so you can check it out and save some money if you want and um, I'll see you next video please like the video subscribe to the channel it will help a lot and um, share this video for, with others if they are interested in this drivers. Thank you very much. Bye.